Welcome back. I'm here with On The Dot correspondent David Schechter, who's done an in-depth report on the root cause of climate change. The root cause is carbon dioxide, CO2. And I want to take you on a ride so you can actually see it with your own eyes in Oakland. So we've got a lot of carbon dioxide. Now let's talk about where it's coming from. So I think this next stop would be pretty cool. This company has figured out how to visualize carbon dioxide. Hello. Davida Herzl is the CEO of Aclima. In Oakland, her company operates a fleet of cars outfitted with tubes and sensors that analyze the air for 14 kinds of pollution. One of them is carbon dioxide, which floats straight up into the atmosphere and can stay there for hundreds of years. To deal with climate change, to deal with air pollution, you really have to understand where it's coming from and you have to take local measurements to do that. As we're driving, how many measurements are happening right now? Right now, um, every single uh, second, we're taking a measurement. Off this hose. Off of that, yeah, the air is getting sampled. We're moving through the streets. That enables us to pinpoint the precise location of those measurements. There are a lot of ways that carbon dioxide gets into the air, but according to the EPA, the number one source of carbon emissions is transportation at 27%. You can look out the window. There's, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I mean, 10 trucks just, yeah. just in front of us right yeah. now. Diesel trucks. And diesel trucks. And what you're looking at here, that's the CO2 coming off of these trucks. What she's showing me is a visualization of carbon dioxide on the streets of Oakland. The lower concentrations are purple on the side streets. The much higher yellow levels are freeways. And those things that look like skyscrapers are emissions where two highways come together. Businesses and governments use Aclima's data to identify and reduce sources of pollution. This isn't just an invisible problem. You can now see it. It's visible. It's measurable. And when I drive, and when you I drive, contribute. you're contributing. You're putting CO2 into the air. Now, most CO2 levels are found along the freeways, as you just saw there. And David, that brings up the whole question of who lives there? This is a question of environmental justice. There's low income minority communities, primarily in those corridors there who are breathing in this air, not just talking about carbon dioxide, but all kinds of pollution. And it's disproportionately impacting those communities. 